What's up, YouTube? Good morning. So, as y'all saw, I hit a new low weigh-in of 175.8, I want to say. Um, so, man, I'm really excited. You know, I'm like, man, what's up? Um, I finally see it on the scale. I'm, 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 I'm like, I can't even speak. I'm truly happy about that. So, we got 64 more days to go, about 15 pounds to go. So, so far we're doing pretty good. Um, you know, today I went to biology. Right now I'm cooking my meal. I have some chicken breasts and I have some potatoes. So, get some carbs. I mean, a little bit of fat. I'll probably add some more fat, but putting some more cheese so I can hit my fat goals for today. And hit a good amount of my protein. Because, you know, I'm all natural. I don't take no supplements whatsoever. I don't take no protein powder. I don't take no creatine, no beta anilines, none, none of that, you know. I get all my... I get, I get everything from my food sources, pretty much. So, yeah, guys. I mean, today's going to be chest day. I hate Planet Fitness, and I hate how um, there's days that they'll be offering pizza or cookies after you work out. Like, like really, like, what the fuck? You're supposed to be there to work out. You're not trying to work out and then gain it back in and gain it and gain it again. That's not how that's not how it is. Now maybe if you're bulking, okay, maybe I can understand. But if you're trying to create a better physique for yourself, like what the hell? Why are you gonna waste all that time and effort over that cookie? Like is it really worth it? Think about it. Are you really that determined to get to your goals if you're really gonna sacrifice it for that cookie? No. Then you're not serious about it and maybe you should reevaluate what your goals are and what you're trying to strive for. But yeah, I, I just hate Planet Fitness. I'd rather go to a Gold's Gym or a 24 hour, you know. My gym is alright, you know. It's OT Fitness. <laughs> I took over that gym. <laughs> I mean, not literally, but it's my gym. I'm about to eat this. I think it's burning right now, honestly. And then I'll be going to work. From work, I'll be heading to the gym. So. I'll see you at the gym. Let's get this. Chest day. What's up, guys? So, I just finished my chest workout. I didn't record anything because it was so packed today. Like, it took me a while just to find parking. I'm all, I'm all the way out at the very end from the gym. Or the gym lot, whatever. But, um, so I didn't get no footage, but I'm going to talk about today's workout. So, I started off doing the cable crossover. And I did it from a high angle and a low angle. I did uh, five sets for each. I moved on to doing a dumbbell press, but with a slight variation. I did it uh, with a reverse grip. So instead of having my my grip uh, like this, I'd have it reversed. So it would feel like when I'm pushing up, it'll feel like a scoop. So, I mean, you could try doing it with the barbell, but if you do it with the barbell, I recommend you do it but if someone's spotting you, I think someone's about to get pulled over. Yeah, if you try with the barbell, get someone to spot you because it could uh, later cause a discomfort and pain. So yeah, that was the second working set. My third was a decline isolated hamstring press. And I did with the slight variation. So instead of having a grip right here, uh, go to the side, like, uh, with the, with the grips right here turned to the side and it's gonna uh, give you like a good pump in there like your inner part of the chest even though you don't have an inner part it's gonna you'll feel it more right there so do it on each side so alternating it after that we did just a regular hammer strength press five sets as well and for my last one the first working set of the super set was just having a 25 pound plate Pressing it together and pushing like at a 45 degree angle, contracting your chest the whole time. And then we uh, we did uh, 15 reps. And for the, uh, the second part of the super set, we just had the, uh, like it was like a dumbbell, uh, not a dumbbell, uh, like a plate raise. So I would just grab the 25 pound plate and raise it up, contracting my chest the whole time and contracting it while lowering it. So. That was today's chest workout. 
honestly, after the last set, um, I felt like, I don't know, like my, ch my chest really hurts right now. So I feel like if it's just the pump or if it's some type of discomfort, I don't know. But we're going to head home, cook my final meal. I have no clue what I'm going to make. I really do not have no clue. I'll see y'all in the morning. So, um, so the codons are going to be written in a five and three direction. Um, so these codons, there's going to be, for every three nucleotides, it's going to code for one amino acid. So one amino acid can have multiple codes because there's so many different combinations that these codons can be of all these uh, different combinations of nucleotides. <laughs> Get told. Anybody get told, dog? No. Hey, what's up, guys? So I know it's been a while. I haven't, I haven't had like face-to-face -face interaction with y'all. Just been workouts, but I mean, these past days I haven't really been doing nothing exciting. You know, it's just been school, work, and gym. And you know, work is work, so you can't can't really input that into the channel, you know. So I'll still get at, I'll still give y'all the workout content. But you know, what's been going on with me lately? Well, you know what? Nothing much. Um, kind of excited. Less than a month away from getting my tattoo. I'll be going to the university now in the fall. I've already done my basics and everything here at the community college. So, I finished over there in two years, so I'll transfer over to the, to the university to get my bachelor's in nursing within two to three years. Because it's going to be hard trying to have a job and doing school at the same time. So, most likely I won't be full-time at school like I was over here at, my, at the community college. Um, because I know a lot of my friends and everything they've they've been telling me man, it's kind of hard um to try to be full-time at the university and also work you know it's too stressful so 
when I transfer out to university, I'm most likely just take three classes and see how that goes. If I believe I can handle it, then I'll try to go full time. If not, then I'll just stay part time and with the three classes. You know, it'll just be one class that I'd be short of, you know. But you know what it is. You gotta adjust to it. You gotta adjust to life at times. But we're about uh, less than nine weeks out. Still got roughly 16, 15 pounds left to go. So, ain't bad. Yeah, so. yeah right now I'm, about, um, I'm on my way to Kroger's because I got to go pick up a few things. And I'll be heading into work. So, let's go. All right, so we at Kroger. Whoa, let's see, focus on me. All right, there we go. That's pretty, that's all right. Whoa, no, that's too, there we go. All right, so yeah, we at Kroger's now. Uh, just came to pick up some uh, ground turkey beef and some egg whites. Uh, gotta get my mom's. She asked for some bread and ham. So I'll get that as well. Get the egg whites first. Um, yeah, so let's get the ham now. So we got everything we need. I got me some yogurts as well. Got my egg whites, my turkey, um, beef, some ham. Now I'm gonna get some bread. I wonder what type of bread though. I don't know how to hurry up though. I still gotta cook this and have to work. So. But I'll see y'all now. I'll see you at the gym. Hey, we are at the gym now. So back and by. We're gonna do three back movements, three bicep movements, and then we're gonna hit our cardio afterwards. So, let's see. I might do a reverse grip lat pull down. Super set it with a lat pull down. Mm, what else? I know I'm gonna do rack pulls, maybe deadlift. I'm gonna hit the seated curls. Won't be in a city. I'm gonna be in a seated position while doing curls, so I'll have no movement, no momentum whatsoever. Uh, I'll probably do some hammer curls as well. Well, we'll see once we get in there. What's up guys? I hope y'all enjoyed that footage. Uh, just finished my cardio right now and I am drenched in sweat. So, excuse me so I can change real quick. There we go. All right, so we head back and by. The first workout, the first working set was doing a reverse grip uh, lat pull down. Doing five sets of 10 reps. After that, the second exercise movement movement was a uh, row lat pull down for five reps of 10 sets five sets of 10 reps as well third back movement was a seated row uh, worked up to 130 
same thing. Yeah, well, uh, five reps. I mean, five sets of anywhere from eight to twelve reps. Um, third working set was um kind of like a seated arm curl, but not really. Basically, all I had was the support in front of me, so I wouldn't uh, sway or use any momentum uh, doing the arm curl. I do. I did a drop sit there from 25 to 20 pounds. I was doing three sets of eight reps. Uh, the fifth exercise movement was uh, alternating dumbbell curls. I used uh, 35 pounds, three sets of 10 reps, superseded with hammer curls. No, 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 no. It was alternating dumbbell curls of three sets of eight reps with the 35, uh, 35 pound dumbbells. And I superseded it with 25 pounds doing uh, hammer curls. The sixth and final working set movement was a hanging arm curl. So I was using the incline uh, bench and I would lay my chest on it. I would just have my arms laying and I would just control it the whole way up and control it the whole way down. I was using lightweight because my arms were killed by then. So it was it didn't really matter about the how much uh, how much strength you could use right there. It was more just having that better control, better contraction at that time. So I was using 30 pounds. Uh, I did five sets of 10 reps on that one. And then I finished it up the back and by workout. And we did 30 minutes on the stairmaster. So if that's gonna conclude today's vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And if y'all did, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I will see y'all in the next one. I want to see you work out for me. Work out hey, we got a good thing. Don't know if I'ma see you.